and welcome for the love of food. Today we're going to be making a very special dish. I already have it started to cook here. Uh, we are going to be making butternut squash lasagna. I am making a version that is made with sausage. So I bought some sausage, uh, mild Italian um, in the casings and just pulled the sausage meat out of the casing and put it here in my pan. And I added in some onions and apples once it was about halfway finished. I'm gonna show you the rest of the ingredients in just a moment. So butternut squash lasagna, that's what we have on the bill as I mentioned before. And what I did was I pre-roasted yesterday, I cut up a butternut squash and put some olive oil and salt on it and went ahead and just roasted that for about 40 minutes. And how we're going to be compiling our lasagna today is we're going to be using um, sage as um, a main ingredient with the sausage. I think that will be lovely. We're going to be making that in a browned buttered sauce. And of course, you always want your cheeses, so we'll have mozzarella, regatta cheese. We're going to be um, adding some heavy whipping cream and some eggs. And we're going to be using some of our homemade stock that we use, um, that we make here all the time and that we use quite often. Um, what you don't see yet is lasagna noodles. And because this is an intermediate dish, I'm going to just go ahead and cheat and use the no-bake lasagna noodles. And we'll see how that comes out. I've never used those before. We are looking at all of the ingredients this time for the no-bake lasagna. I've added in those lasagna noodles. And as you can see, my um, sausage and apple is already cooked. And, and it's actually, you can see the steam coming off of that. It smells wonderful. I always say this. I wish we had smell of vision You would enjoy this. What I did want to talk about briefly, though, was this sage. I grow this in my backyard, and the way that you want to test your herbs is just to rub them with your fingers and then smell your fingers. Mmm, that smells wonderful, and so I know this sage is just going to be perfect. My recipe calls for us beating the eggs, but I'm not, I know you've seen me beat eggs before, um, so I'm not going to have you watch me do that, but I am going to make a brown butter sauce with sage, and I'll be back in just a moment to show you how we're going to do that. All right, so we're making our brown butter sage sauce. So what I've done is I've dumped in, at this point, about three quarters of a stick of butter. I could have added a little more. I could have added a little less. I put it right in the same pan that I cooked my sausage in. Now, the reason I did that is that I didn't have much leftover grease from the sausage. If you have too much grease, you're going to want to drain the pan. At the very least, take out the fat from the sausage. But as you can see, I had very little, just, you know, most of this is butter. All right, now, what I also did was I chopped up some sage. And so here we have our sage. I'm going to go ahead and just add that in. And we're going to let the two of those cook together. How much sage? Well, it's really a preference. How much do you like sage? You know, I'm going to taste it as I go. If I think I need more, I'll add more. But I added about, I would say about a third of a cup to start with. And we're just going to let that crisp up and let that butter get brown. And that's as simple as it is to make a brown butter sage sauce. I'll show you the end result in just a moment. Look at that nice color on that brown butter sage. Now, I use salted butter. Recipes will tell you you have to use unsalt, unsalted and to separate your, you know, your whey that's on the top from the liquid that's on the bottom. I dump it all directly in. I'm not that fussy. This is an intermediate recipe. If it was advanced, we might advise something a tad different. So here you can see me putting the lasagna together. Um, I am layering those different flavors that we have, the butternut squash, the cheese mixture, the sausage with the 
apples and butter, brown butter sauce all mixed in. And what you'll see me do in just a moment is to take some of those no-bake lasagna noodles and lay them right on top of what we've got going on here. So you can see me do that now. And what I'd be doing is adding some of that chicken stock directly on top of these lasagna noodles so that they have some moisture. Now what we want is we want our lasagna to come out in the end with um, some nice uh, not firm noodles. We want the noodles to cook and the no-bake lasagna will um, but as you can see here, we're getting ready to put this in the oven. Um, the uh, bottom layer has all of that moisture sitting down there that is kind of soaked through those noodles. And we're Hello, welcome back. Here is our finished squash lasagna with butter sage sauce and sausage. Um, we have baked it for about 40 to 45 minutes on 350 degrees uncovered. As you can see, it's now got a nice brown color. I'm going to turn so you can see the sides of it. Looks like we have a little bit of liquid in there where our cheese has melted, which is good. I don't want it to be dried out. So we're going to go ahead and plate this up and take a final picture.